Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you can apply red paint on a glass and then remove uh, part of it uh, with a laser. So we already made a few experiments with uh, liquid zinc and we got some results here. It was good, but uh, not perfect. We had a video on our channel. And another example how you can simply remove um, acrylic paint but uh, you see there was some something left here we'll show you something more advanced okay first of all we have uh, this powder uh, it's called a uh, pigment uh, red peg uh, yeah red pigment and we have liquid we have a uh, liquid glass so now we need to mix it and then apply on the uh, on a mug, on a drinking glass. So we apply uh, film on the uh, on different sides just to be able to uh, get uh, all positions for the laser. Okay. Okay, so we have it here, so that's where we'll apply our paint and then we'll do a laser paint removal process. So, first of all, we need to clean it up. You can use alcohol or anything that removes fat. It's very important to make it clean. Okay, now we'll apply paint on the glass. Yeah, it's, you can try different pigments, but uh, this one has uh, metallic particles, so we suggest you using metallic particles. And it's like I said, it's very important to have a uh, liquid, uh, liquid glass because then it actually melts inside your original cup, your original mug. So that actually goes inside and yeah, how do you, you can say melts or gets into. So make sure that the paint uh, uh, is consistent. So you see it's quite consistent. And then we'll do a laser removal process. We would need to wait for another like 5-10 minutes and then we can start the process. Okay, we are using rotary system here and this is our CNC3018. So we remove the table and put uh, that, uh, not, not that, but it's a uh, rotary system, it's called A axis. And we are using here our 10 watt plus pro with two tech cores. Now this system has a thermal uh, controller for tech coolers, so it uh, keeps your laser in very good temperature range. We're using Lightburn software, and uh, the latest firmware is GRBL 1.1H. So we removed the masking tape, uh, yeah, the film, and now we need to position the laser. And we're ready to engrave. Okay, let's start. Uh, we use 40% uh, power and uh, the speed is 1200 millimeters per uh, minute. And it's very important that for this application you don't need focused laser beam. So we actually a little bit unfocused it. Uh, yes, you wouldn't have very uh, small details and very small pixel, but it's not something that you need for this application. You just need to remove at a decent speed. And also don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser, because even reflective uh, laser beam is uh, very, can, can be very 
painful and uh, can hurt your eyes and uh, only use goggles with OD4 or OD5 uh, protection level. It'll take about 15 minutes to engrave and we'll turn the uh, record, recording back in like 5 minutes and we'll show you the um, results in the middle. I think it's only 30% done and you can see something out of there, but uh, yeah, I just don't want to disturb uh, the laser. But yeah, with the rotor system, it's really good that you can engrave on mugs and cups and uh, almost, almost uh, also thermoses, so it's a really good thing to have. And uh, yeah, like I said, we just simply remove the table from CNC 3018. So it's almost ready. Endurance lasers. And don't forget to visit our website, endurance-lasers.com and endurance lasers. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask me via email, gf at endurancerobots.com and my phone is plus seven nine one six two two five four three two. And we plan to make more videos, more written guidance and tutorials about how to uh, how to apply uh, different colors on different materials. So we're working right now with glass and we'll do more experiments on tile, uh, leather, fabric. So we have a bunch of things to do in our laser lab in the next few months. So stay tuned and don't forget to visit our Facebook group Endurance Lasers so it's, I'm just very much excited to see the final results okay that's ready and now we need to clean it up yeah one piece left but doesn't matter okay Okay. So, yeah, we'll probably improve and keep working on this technology, making results uh, more stable. But here, you know, once Andre is cleaning up, you can see that it's very, very accurate. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's see the final result. So it's red color. We applied, we removed, and probably we need just to to clean it up a little bit better. But the thing is that those, and I can feel uh, that it's actually melt inside the inside the glass it's really awesome because I, I can really feel it great so hope you guys enjoyed this video please share it with your friends and stay tuned with endurance lasers bye bye